expat in the Philippines. Today is the day when all of the poor have been made on the roof up above. All the materials have been purchased and they're going to be using our mixer, our one bag mixer. And the guys should be arriving shortly. A pad has been made so that they can mix the concrete in the mixer, pouring it out onto that board, protecting the road, and then it's all go. Everybody will be hard at it, taking buckets up at a time, one by one by one, all through the day until late tonight when the final pour will be done, because it's all done in one, one immediate pour. There's no break, you just keep going. The owner usually puts on a meal for everybody. And it's a, you could say it's a fun day for all, but it's a very hard day's work. As you can see, the one bagger, my mixer has arrived by tricycle. It's just been pulled back around the corner from where we're building, ready to get into action. Everybody looks all ready for work. Even the boss, wide awake. How are you today? Edwin? Yes. Going to be a good day? Yeah. You have to wake up first. Good morning, Paul. That frame is used to hold the ready mixed cement into one area so it doesn't flow out onto the rest of the road. When they've completed the job, they'll just wash off the road. Last minute alterations, any adjustments that have to be made are being done now prior to the actual pour. A lot of the guys have arrived now and just wetting the ground down, getting the preparation. The cement has arrived. Everyone's just uh, doing the last final adjustments. As you can see, all of the electrical conduit has been burnt on the end so that it doesn't allow any dirt to go down into the, into the tube. And the plumbing has been arranged for upstairs as well, coming up through the floor. So all the preparation for the future is ready and in place. You'll notice that the boxing on the edge of the building, the existing building has been made just at the level of the floor and to cover the steelwork and that will become the level of the floor. It's just done with plywood and four by two, uh, three by three by two, sometimes two by two. All is just bending the last pieces of steel so they don't protrude up into the floor. Edwin's just doing his last double check because once you start to pour, it's all there, no turning back. This floor here should take maybe early afternoon, maybe late afternoon, it should be completed. Maybe, depends on how fast they work, I suppose. You can see they have almost completed half the floor area. And it's only 10.30 in the morning. So they're doing really well. As you can also see, they're filling the beam. That's the ring beam that goes between the different walls, holding the whole structure together. It all gets poured at the same time in one pour 
as the floor. So the whole thing is one big solid slab and they're making sure that they tamper it down inside so to get the air out of the, the mix. And it's all being overseen while we speak by the master himself, Edwin. Master Builder. <laughs> the ratio of cement, sand and uh, gravel is one, four, five. That's one bag of cement to four gravel and five sand. That's the ratio of the mix. After a short break for lunch, the guys are back on the job. Maybe another three hours they should have finished the total four. Then they will be coming back in one week's time after the time concrete is cured reasonably. And the next level will be two. After stopping for a few moments to grab a nice hot drink, the guys will be back to do the final push, which is about a meter wide along the front, which will just complete the area. The actual surface of the floor is not done like overseas, it's fairly rough, but it is level relatively and because when you put tiles on the floor they put about a two inch mortar bed on top of that so it acts as a good key and that's when they get the true level applied to the floor finally the job is complete all that has to be done is they will come back and just smooth it over a little bit more and that is the job complete. Ready for the next stage, which is happening next week. Good job done by all.